later in this video how to fix gpu driver error no temps hi everyone welcome to the next installment in our weekly updates on eth mining pools which ones is the best which ones offers you the most money for your rigs and which ones you make the most profit on as we have our weekly update of 10 ETH pools, we're looking at the 60 day date range, 45 day date range, 30 day date range, 15 day date range, 7 day date range, and then a final summary afterwards. So I really recommend that you do stay tuned for the whole video and make sure that you understand how the pools move between the specific date ranges. And then remember to subscribe down below so you get notified the next week when I upload the next video so that you start getting into a pattern of analyzing your pools and making sure that you're continuously making the most profit so right before we jump into the 60 day date range just here on the left hand side looking at what happened with crypto in the last seven days which is when we made the last video on this specific topic bitcoin went up 6.91 percent eth went up 2.79 percent and then looking at most of the other cryptos on this specific page we're mostly green across the board now obviously the green or red indicator depends on which reference point you're using if you're looking at seven days ago or if you're looking at one day ago let me just show you one day ago it's almost red across the whole screen so just have to bear that in mind normally when i make these videos i make these weekly updates so i changed the time frame since the last video update i did so let's jump into the 60 day date range on our pools and let's see how the pools moved around so last week in first place it was f2 pool this week still in first place mining pool up unchanged in second place from last week to this week flex pool unchanged in third place from last week to this week ether mine unchanged in fourth place z pool moved from ninth place last week into fifth place this week Nano pool changed from 5th place last week into 6th place this week. Ivon unchanged in 7th place. Crazy pool changed from 6th place last week to 8th place this week. Two miners 8th place last week, 9th place this week. And Crux pool unchanged in 10th place. Now jumping on to the 45 day date range. F2 pool was in 1st place last week, still in 1st place. Crux pool was in 9th place last week, 2nd place this week. Mining pool up unchanged in 3rd place. Z pool changed from 2nd place to 4th place. Flex pool changed from 4th place last week to 5th place this week. Ivon changed from 7th place to 6th place. Nano pool changed from 6th place to 7th place. Ethermine changed from 5th place last week to 8th place this week. Crazy pool changed from 8th place last week to 9th place this week. And two miners unchanged in 10th place. Now we're looking at the 30 day date range. F2 pool unchanged in 1st place, Crux pool unchanged in 2nd place, Mining pool up unchanged in 3rd place, Flex pool unchanged in 4th place, Ivon unchanged in 5th place, Z pool changed from 8th place to 6th place, Ethermine changed from 6th place to 7th place, Nano pool changed from 7th place to 8th place, Crazy pool changed from 10th place to 9th place, and two miners change from 9th place to 10th place. Going down to only a 15 day date range. Mining pool up in 1st place this week was in 3rd place last week. Crux pool changed from 4th place to 2nd place. F2 pool changed from 1st place to 3rd place. Ether mine changed from 7th place to 4th place. Flex pool changed from 6th place to 5th place. Ivon changed from 10th place to 6th place. Two miners changed from 5th place to 7th place. Nano pool unchanged in 8th place, crazy pool unchanged in 9th place and Z pool moved from 2nd place last week to 10th place this week. That's a quite a substantial drop there in the 15 day date range. Going down to the 7 day date range, crazy pool changed from 10th place last week to 1st place this week. So the last week was quite a good week for crazy pool. F2 pool changed from 3rd place to 2nd place, Ivon changed from 7th place to 3rd place. Flex pool changed from 6th place to 4th place. Ethermine changed from 4th place to 5th place. Nano pool changed from 5th to 6th place. Mining pool up was in 1st place last week all the way down to 7th place this week. Crux pool unchanged in 8th place. Two miners changed from 2nd place to 9th place. Z pool changed from 9th place to 10th place. 
now for our final recap of all the time periods that we have here you can see here at the top we have the 60 45 30 15 7 and then an the overall score that i give them currently f2 pool is still in first place for the final overview last week it was also in first place mining pool up unchanged in second place flex pool unchanged in third place crux pool moved up from seventh place to fourth place overall ivon moved up from ninth place to fifth place overall Ethermine changed from 4th place to 6th place. Zpool changed from 5th place to 7th place. Nanopool changed from 6th place to 8th place. Crazypool changed from 10th place to 9th place. And 2 miners changed from 8th place to 10th place. Now if you get into a regular pattern of watching these videos of mine, you can also remember the historic changes that these specific pools also had. So previously a couple of months ago, two miners was usually at the lower half or at the bottom. More recently, two miners moved up a bit into the rankings, but now they're back down to 10th place again. Comment down below which pool you currently using and then also if you might decide on changing to another pool which might be more profitable if you're changing to smaller pools like for instance z or crazy pool you just have to bear in mind that currently a smaller pool might get less blocks or a lot less blocks than the bigger pools do at the moment where your bigger pools might get a 300 percent block that might only be three minutes and if your smaller pool gets a 300 percent block that might even be a couple of days so you just have to bear that in mind as well if you want to start moving around between pools or if you want to give the smaller pools a chance and try and test them out now as i said in the beginning of the video i'm going to share with you how to fix the gpu driver error note temps that you might get sometimes if you probably add new cards or even if you change your overclockings now this specific week i added a couple of cards i added a asus 6600 xt and i added the xfx and another xfx 6600 xt now the XFXs just copied my previous ASRock GPU settings without any error codes. The one that I did get the specific GPU driver error no temps code on it was this specific one from Asus. As you can see from my hash rates, I did manage to solve that problem as well. But if you want to compare it, there is no real difference now between my ASRock cards and my Asus card. Both of them actually getting exactly 32.55 mega hash for these three cards here in line. Now those difference didn't even come into the core overclocking or the memory overclocking. You can see those ones are all exactly the same. We have your 965 for the core and the 1135 for the memory clock. You can see the ACES is exactly at the same. The difference comes in here where you set your voltages. Now, as you can see, this was my standard voltage. It was 675, 680, 1335, which you can see is applied across the board with all the other 6600 XT cards that I have with absolutely no issues. And yeah, even in the beginning, you can see 675 still works with the ACES. It's just the, that specific error code for me was this 800 and the 1300. If I changed it from the 680 and the 1335, to 800 and 1300 then that error code is gone and the card is hashing stable without any issues now the only time you might get this error code is when you add a new card just initially to try and set it up and then on the other hand you might also get the same error code if you change your for instance from which mining pool you're mining to or if you change your specific miner it's just if you change between miners and you change between pools all well, this morning when i changed from flex pool to ether mine even leaving these settings exactly the same i got the same error code on the specific gpu and then i fixed it exactly the same way as i fixed it originally what i did is i left the core at 965 i left the memory at 1135 it just these voltages i made all of them zero and as soon as the miner starts up and the cards start hashing then i go in and i change it to 675 800 1300 then there's no issue with it and it runs stable i'll just check it every time if i decide to change from one miner to the other or changing again from one pool to the other one to test it 
then I'll just make sure to zero out these specific voltages and then apply them again 10 or 15 minutes after the miner started up. Now I'll keep you guys up to date with that. Some people also say that you might have a riser which cables are loose and you might get that specific error code. I can understand that that might happen in that situation but for me it was specifically just making these three values all of them zero and then changing them back to my specific settings that I wanted 10 or 15 minutes later. Hopefully you found this video informative and hopefully that helps you if you get that specific error code like the video down below leave a comment which pools you are currently mining to or if you add this specific error code and you fixed it in another way and remember to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you get notified the next time i upload one of these videos thank you for your time cheers